Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping Like a Girl, or welcome to if you are new, I'm Natalie, and today we are taking a break from queen grafting to get ready for swarm season. Swarm season is one of my favorite seasons just because it's always a fun process and it's always different, it's never the same. So we're going to show you how we prepare for our grab and go box. Uh, we've learned that it's always good to be prepared ahead of time just because sometimes when you get there the bees leave and then you don't have enough time or so it's always good to be prepared so we're going to show you what we put in our box and it's just stuff that we do so let's go ahead and get started so first thing is just some gloves because you never know when you're going to need them and then also we always take a veil or a suit I'm gonna take both depends on how testy they are gonna be that day and then take some tape because you never know when you're gonna need tape and then also a hive tool because we have used hive tools so much more than just being in a hive you never know when you're gonna need it and then also just some be quick to kind of get the bees out of some, a spot that's kind of hard to get. Uh, it just helps get them off of there. And then also sometimes when they're on a tree and we get them off and whoever owns that tree or whatever doesn't want them to be there anymore, we can spray this and they will hopefully not go back on it. And it's the smell of like cherries and they just don't like the smell of that. So we have that and then also a brush. Also, if they're in a, like, a hard spot to get to, we can kind of just brush them off a little bit. Use that. And then also a queen clip, because if we do find the queen in that swarm, we can clip her, put her in the box, and then the bees will normally go to her, so then it's a lot easier that way. And then also some honey for the people who called us about the swarm just as a thank you because you know that's a hive for us and then also and then we take some clippers too just in case they're on like a branch that we can just clip off and then put it onto the box it's a lot quicker that way but you can't always cut the branch but we do take it just in case so then we're obviously going to need our box so let's go ahead and look at the box first so this is just a normal nick box and inside we just have a frame with some drawn comb on here and then these three frames over here are just foundation because swarms will build a lot of comb or wax and then our lid and then we also learned last year that it's always best to take a 10 frame just in case the hive is too big for our, a nuke box and then this is our little contraption that we use for whenever the swarm is up too high and we can't quite get to them. We use this and then uh, basically you just hit them and the, they go into the bucket and then you can put them into the box. And then just a ladder. This ladder can kind of extend to, depending on where they are. So that's what we use. And then also for the lid, to shut it we take a drill and some screws just to make sure that it's sealed nice and tight. So then for the entry, we like to just take some screen and put it on the entry and then take our staple gun here, and just staple it on there. And then we keep, them, we keep them locked up for about 24 hours and then we can just take it off. And that's pretty much it. I think that's all. So that's kind of what we do and it just helps a lot to be prepared so that we can be out the door in less than five minutes, just pack everything up and go to the swarm. So I think that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping Like a Girl.